In this question, we must come up with a structure of some unknown compound whose molecular formula is given here. Now, anytime a question gives you the molecular formula, the first thing you want to do is calculate the elements of unsaturation, symbolized here by the letter U. So we'll do that first, and we simply take the number of carbons, which is 3, and we multiply that by 2. We then add 2, and then subtract the total number of hydrogens and halogens. We have 4 hydrogens plus two halogens. Remember that chlorine is one of the halogens. And we divide this by two. Now if we simplify upstairs in the numerator, we're going to have two. And therefore, once we divide, we can see the number of elements of unsaturation is just one. Now this could mean that we either have a double bond or a ring. Each one of those structural features of a molecule corresponds to one element of unsaturation. However, a ring seems unlikely because we only have three carbons. And the only way to make a three carbon ring would be to make a little triangle, a little cyclopropane ring. These are very unstable and they're very rarely found in these types of questions. So a ring seems unreasonable. We're going to go with the double bond. So in fact, we can start to build a structure because we have three carbons and there's a double bond in the structure. So far, so good. Let's look at the proton NMR next. We can see that we have a signal representing three hydrogens. That would be a methyl group. And if you look very carefully, it's kind of hard to see, but this looks as though it is a doublet. A doublet basically has a signal split into two individual peaks of equal height. It's really hard to see, but there's a little peak up here. And then if you look, maybe squint, zoom in, do whatever it takes, there's another little peak right there. So this is in fact intended to be a doublet. I admit they could have done a better job of indicating that. So what does that mean? Well, let's consider what we have going over here. We have a carbon. We know we need a methyl group in here, so the most reasonable structure to propose would be this one, where the methyl group is located at that carbon. In order to make a doublet, that would mean that the neighboring carbon would have to have one hydrogen connected to it. Now, why one hydrogen? It's supposed to be a doublet. Well, remember the n plus 1 rule. The n plus 1 rule basically says, okay, look at your three hydrogens that you have the signal for, and then look over at the neighboring carbon. Not the carbon that the three hydrogens are connected to, but the neighboring carbon, this one right here. You count the number of hydrogens bonded to that neighboring carbon, which is one. So you would have one plus one, according to the n plus one rule, which gives you two, which in fact corresponds to a doublet. So it is very reasonable to propose that there's a hydrogen bonded to the neighboring carbon because that would generate the intended doublet based on the proton NMR. So we're getting somewhere here. We have a very plausible structure going on, but we still have to put in two chlorines. Well, that's going to be very easy. The only other positions that we could put those two chlorines would be at this first carbon. Let's just confirm that the proton NMR matches. Consider this hydrogen right here. Let's look at the neighboring carbons. Now, the neighboring carbon to the left over here, that has zero hydrogens connected to it because we just put the two chlorines there. However, if you look at the other neighboring carbon over here, that has one, two, three hydrogens. So let's do the n plus one rule. We would have three plus one, which of course is four. That would be a quartet. So this hydrogen should be a quartet. Look at the signal for it. Here it is, one hydrogen, which corresponds to this blue boxed hydrogen, should be a quartet. They gave us a bit of a cutout here. And if you look at it, we have one, two, three, four individual peaks on that signal. That indeed is a quartet. So we have further corroboration that our structure is the intended one. And in fact, this is indeed the correct answer. So just to redraw it one more time, we have the double bond. And then on the first carbon, we have the two chlorines bonded. And there is the correct answer to the question.